my loves and welcome back to my channel. My name's Angelique if you are new here and today I'm going to be getting ready with you. I actually haven't done one of these in a minute and T3 just launched a new tool so I thought it'd be the perfect way to share with you how I use the tool and introduce you to the tool as well as sharing with you my updated getting ready routine. So as you can tell I just got out of the shower. My hair is up in my hair towel so let's just go ahead and start getting ready. This is the hair towel from T3. Um, I really like it. It's really absorbent and I always put my hair in a hair towel whether I'm doing my hair or wearing my hair naturally curly so yeah that's the first step once I get out of the shower now today I want to actually straighten my hair I haven't straightened it in a minute so we're gonna try doing that so the products that I'm going to use are two pumps of hair oil and no I am NOT shy about hair oil my hair really absorbs it I could put it at my roots actually I do <laughs> I put it at my roots I put it all throughout my hair and Honestly, half the time it doesn't even look like I put oil in. So I'm constantly adding oil to my hair. All right, next I've been using a hair growth serum. I've been trying the Vegamore. So this is a newer product that I've been using, but I have all these baby hairs around my face and I really would like to try to grow them out. So I thought I would test out the serum and see how I like it. And I honestly was a little nervous about putting a serum like right at my roots. I thought it would make it look greasy or you know, oily or something like that, and it honestly doesn't. I've been very, very impressed with this little formula. And then we're just gonna put in a heat protectant cream. And that's all the products that I'm gonna put in right now. At the end, I will add a little texturizing spray and such, um, but that is all the pre-blow drying products that I put in. <laughs> currently. <laughs> Alright, then the next thing I need to do is blow dry my hair and this, my friends, is where I introduce to you the new tool from T3. Are you guys ready? So without further ado, I have here the new T3 Fit. So this is their new blow dryer that is 30% smaller, it's powered by Ion Air technology, and it gives you smooth, soft, and shiny results. And my favorite part is it is much easier to store. Obviously it is much smaller, so it'll fit much easier in my little drawers here in the bathroom. So on the back of the T3 Fit, you have two speeds and three heat settings that you can use, and I can't even tell you guys how lightweight this is, so it'll be a lot easier to maneuver because you guys know my hair takes a long time to dry so now my arm won't get as tired <laughs> let's throw this little guy on and we'll get started here so while my hair is drying I wanted to quickly give you guys a little bit more information about the t3 fit so like I said this new dryer is equipped with t3 ion air technology that delivers a wide and gentle airstream infused with millions of negative ions that sounds so freaking cool <laughs> this little technology also helps with drying the hair quickly while delivering soft smooth and shiny results guys I think that is dry wow guys whoa look how long my hair is getting I don't straighten it that often, so when it's straight, I'm always so surprised. Whoa. Okay, this little guy is so freaking powerful. This dried my hair so fast, and because it is lighter, it was a lot easier to move and maneuver. So I am very, very happy with this size and how quickly I was able to just get in there and get this all dry. And believe it or not, <laughs> this is smooth and shiny for my hair. I do have really, really naturally wavy hair, frizzy hair. I live in Hawaii, so it's super humid. You guys already know all this, but this is a smooth, rough blowout for me. So I'm impressed. I seriously can't wait to throw a diffuser on that thing and see how it does with my natural waves because it blew dry my hair so freaking fast. So I'll have to test out my natural waves for you guys and share with you guys those results. But in the meantime, I will have everything linked down below, including the brushes from T3, my hair towel, and the new T3 fit. And I do have a discount code for you guys. It is Angelique T3 20 for 20% 20 off of your total purchase. Um, now I'm going to continue getting ready, but I just want to quickly share that with you in case you are just dying to get your hands on this. It'll all be down there for you. So now I'm going to continue getting ready. I'm going to go put on clothes and we'll do my makeup. I'll be right back. Hi, Ollie. How are you in here? Do you want to say hi? <clears throat> this is my dog, Ollie, if you don't know. <laughs> okay, I just went and put on some clothes. I put on a new pair of jeans that I just got that I'm obsessed with, a new hoodie that's oversized. It's kind of rainy here in Hawaii today, so I just went for a casual vibe. Um, and then I just put on a simple stack of my Miranda Fry jewelry. So now that that's done, I'm going to put Ollie outside of the store and we'll do my makeup. 
Okay, so something I always like to do um, when I'm actually doing my hair, like curling or straightening it, I always blow dry it first, and then I do my makeup, and then I style my hair. So that way my hair can kind of settle, I can make sure it's dry, and it's like actually dry before I put an iron to it, because I've noticed with my hair, if I don't like let it set after I blow dry it, like completely dry as soon as I curl it or straighten it, it would go like frizzy faster and sometimes just my natural wave would come back at my root so I don't know if that makes sense but I just always wait to style my hair so we're gonna do my makeup real quick grab my bins of makeup my tools all right so the first thing is some foundation today i'm going to keep it really light i'm going to do a little bit of my lara mercier pure canvas primer and my it cosmetics illuminating cc cream um, i just do like half and half and this is what i use when i'm just going to be around the house and just hanging out and i don't need a lot of coverage try to keep it more natural if i'm just staying at the house Ooh, i'm almost at the end of this one that'll work Got a little darker in here. Must be getting gloomy and rainy out there. Then I go in with my concealer. I'm currently using the Lara Mercier Flawless Fusion in the color 1N. I know it always looks so scary when I differ I do my concealer. So I was always like, oh my gosh. Right now. Cover out those little zits. And yeah, something I've been doing is using a little blending brush first for my concealer and then using my beauty blender. I just kind of go back and forth. I just sometimes feel like my beauty blender picks up so much of the product that I end up putting more concealer on and I don't need to. So I kind of buff it out first and then go in and make sure it's all like good with my beauty blender if that makes sense. Next, I add a little bit of a liquid blush. Now, I actually think this is like a liquid highlighter, but it's like a rose gold color. So I've been using it as a liquid blush, but it's by Makeup Forever. It's the Ultra HD Soft Light. This is my favorite thing ever, and I'm honestly getting sad because, well, we're getting to the bottom of it. So I'm gonna have to order a new one here, but lasted forever. Um, so go in with a little brush here and just kind of buff it into my skin and I've been really liking using cream products for like highlighters and blushes because I just feel like it adds a really dewy skin like finish and makes it look more natural and then I go in with my iconic London illuminator and a little bit of this goes a long way my friends so I just go right on top of where I put that liquid blush. And now I go in with my beauty blender and make sure everything looks good. <laughs> it's all blended correctly. Cause I feel like sometimes when you use brushes, it kind of kind of make like little marks and it doesn't all blend together perfect. So I feel like the sponge just like pushes it into my skin and make sure everything blends together nicely. Yep, that'll work. Then I go in with my translucent powder and I'm currently just using the Laura Mercier one. And I, going for more of a natural skin look today. So I'm only putting the translucent powder on places that I don't want to look shiny, so that's my neck. I always like to set my neck so that way it doesn't transfer as easy to like my sweatshirts or shirts. And then around my jawline, I press a little bit of the translucent under my eyes. Everywhere else, I actually am not gonna set because I want it to look dewy and skin-like. Next we'll go in with a little bit of bronzer. This hasn't changed. I am still using my Hoola by Benefit. Just a trusty go-to. I use this for my crease, for my bronzer, for my contour, all of it. And by crease, I mean the crease of my eyes. I love to use like the same bronzers and blushes on my eyelids so that way it all goes together, it's all the same tones, and your look just looks really natural and cohesive. 
I ran out of a eyebrow pencil. So let me go find something to do my eyebrows. Oops. One second. Okay, I'm improvising here because I ran out of the color I've been using. I've been using the Urban Decay, the Brow Beater, and the color, I don't know, taupe. taupe. Um, but now I don't have that color anymore. Um, so <laughs> I'm trying my Urban Decay Brow Blade in the color Natural Nana. I think that'll work. It might be a little dark, but whatever. Okay, bear with me here. Gotta do the brows. It's a little darker, but it's okay. Literally working with what we got here. Nothing like filming a get ready with me and not having the products I normally use. <laughs> So they're darker. Um, so what we're gonna do is take a little bit of translucent powder. This is actually a little trick I have learned. And you're gonna put a little translucent powder in your brows and that actually helps set and tone down the color of your eyebrow pencil. So we have to do that because, well, they were dark. So let that sit for a second. Don't let me forget to brush that out. So now we're gonna add a little bit of highlighter. And I really like this one from Laura Mercier because it's like almost like a rose gold, almost a bronzy color. <clears throat> so I just like to lightly dust it on like my cheeks as like an overall little highlight. And looks really natural and just kind of adds a subtle glow to your cheeks. Then on the eyelids, I just use another highlighter that I have. This is one of my go-tos as well. It's by Laura Mercier. It is the Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 01. And I just like to use that um, on my eyelids, like right underneath the brow bone and right on the eyelid. It's like not too shimmery, but just enough where it kind of brightens your eyelid and opens up your eyes. Let's brush out my brows before I forget. <laughs> that was sitting in water. Okay, I need another eyebrow brush. I'm struggling today, can you tell? Okay, my brows are still dark. <laughs> so we're gonna darken my crease a little bit, just add a little bit of depth. I'm just gonna go in with my Hoola bronzer and just add a little bit. I feel like that'll help just a touch. Okay, now let's do my mascara. Um, I have been using the Benefit Roller Lash. I love a mascara that has a comb rather than a brush because I like to get in there and comb through my lashes. And this one has been working really, really well. I actually think this one's waterproof. I'm not 100% sure, but when I've cried with it on, it doesn't come off super easy. So I'm assuming it's waterproof but it does come off with soap, which is nice. So it's like a good, happy medium. Now for my bottom lashes, I don't love a ton of mascara on them. I almost like to barely coat them and then take a little spoolie and brush off the excess. Because with my eyes, I feel like if I have too much bottom mascara on, it just looks really heavy. So I just like to brush mine out. Okay, my makeup is pretty much done. I just have to do my lips. So I'm just gonna plug in my straightener, go find my lip liner and be right back. And then for my lip liner, I've been using a NYX pencil. This is just in the color natural and I love this. It matches my lip tone perfect. It's like the perfect nude, but yet just a hint of like rosy pink in there. So it defines my lips, but it looks really, really natural. Hence the name of the pencil. <laughs> So my lips are now lined and then just to fill it in, I just been using like a clear gloss or a chapstick. In this case, I've been really liking the Aquaphor Lip Repair. It's really moisturizing and it doesn't go away super fast. So I feel like I have a nice healthy looking lip and I like that it's clear. So yeah, that is my 
little lip. Okay, my makeup is now done. This is just like my everyday, natural, easy, quick little makeup routine. I honestly can get this done in like 10 minutes, so it's super simple. Um, but now, let's straighten my hair. I haven't straightened my hair in a really long time, so. Why not? Let's switch it up today, you know? And my weapon of choice is my T3 Lucea. Love this thing, super easy. It straightens so quickly and it has a really cool technology that you input all of your settings and it creates the correct heat for your hair. So, love that so I know my hair is safe and I'm not overexposing my hair to heat. I love how smart hair tools are getting so you actually aren't harming your hair overexposing it. It really helps people with dry, frizzy, brittle hair like me. Um, so love that, thank you. There's something so satisfying about straightening frizzy hair. Just going like this and seeing how straight it gets. <laughs> Very satisfying. Okay, that layer is done. I can move so quick with this tool. is my hair straight how weird is that oh I haven't seen it straight in a minute okay let's throw in some texturizing spray And that, my friends, is how my hair turned out with the new T3 Fit and the T3 Lucea. I am very happy with my results, especially since it's rainy and humid outside and it is staying straight. So, very happy about that. <laughs> Normally by now, my hair is already frizzy and going big and I love how controlled these tools keep my hair. So there you have it. That is my little get ready with me. I am so happy I was able to share with you guys the new launch of the T3 Fit as well as sharing with you guys my updated makeup routine. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give this a thumbs up and don't forget to check out the new T3 Fit down below as well as my little code that I have for you, Angelique T320. All the tools that I used will be down there in the description description box. So that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.